Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kirsten with Virgin Rubrics and today I'm excited to take you guys on a tour of my classroom. So this year I'm switching grades to kindergarten if you do not know which means I get a whole new classroom and it's a big classroom. So if you're ready to see what it looks like then keep watching this video. So this is a look from the doorway into my classroom. We have our little carpet here, and this is my little board telling me how my kiddos get home. So this is for my Monday, Wednesday group, and this is for my Tuesday, Thursday group. So we either go on the bus or we get picked up or go to daycare. So we just have a little clothespin system there so that we can change it out and figure out where everybody goes. This is my center board, so this is where the kiddos will get to choose what center they go to. Uh, my little line-up song and how we line up in the hallway. This is probably going to turn into like a little word wall for me and the kiddos once we start learning those kinds of things. Um, this is where I'll have my little bathroom lights, so when the kiddos are in the bathroom, they turn the light on and then when they come back they turn it off so then kiddos know that they can head into the bathroom. Um, those are bins there for now, not too sure what I'm going to end up putting there. Um, so we'll see probably the iPads. So this is just my kind of front board storage for things like that. I have to make new labels basically for everything but that was just one of the things on my to-do list that didn't get done before back to school. This is my front board, so I'm still using the linear calendar like I did in pre-K. Then we have our numbers, schedule, and our morning meeting area. And then this is for the birthdays. I'm switching it out every month instead of having all of them on there. Um, this is a little rocking chair that my grandpa gave to me, and I absolutely love it. This is my little trolley cart with a bunch of stuff I use for morning meetings as well. Then there's just a bunch of storage and stuff back there. This little area is basically for my early finishers and my morning tub is what I call the toys and stuff that are in these bins here. So if the kiddos finish their morning work early or any work early, they can come and pull toys from those two bins and come on the carpet to play. These are the desks where my kiddos will sit. And then this is my little sand table, water table area. And then I also have this little creation station art center. So this little trolley is full of stuff that kiddos are welcome to use. And that's a little table for them to do crafts at. And then, of course, our little creation station um, art easel. And then I just have art paper stored behind there. Now, this wall is my favorite part of the classroom. So the little squares is where the student art is going to be hung up in the classroom. And I just absolutely love that wall. It's kind of like the accent wall in my classroom. In this little corner, so this is kind of the building block area. I've got all of our wooden blocks there. 
this table. It also turns into a light table. I just have these little foam floor mats on top so we have a road for kiddos to drive their cars on. And then all of the toys are stored in here. And then of course we have our little dollhouse and the dolls and stuff are just in the cupboard there. This area is just a ton of storage space for all of the things that you can think of. And of course up on top I have storage bins as well. And then this is my little pretend center. So it's underneath our loft. So right now, as you can see, it is a house, pretend house. And then up the stairs, this is my sweet little loft where kiddos can come up and they can read. There's puppets, more puppets, tons of comfy places for them to sit and read. I wanted to make this space more of a quiet area that kiddos can be at instead of having a bunch of toys up here where they can get rambunctious and loud. I also have made this little family tree for my classroom. Kiddos will eventually bring pictures of their families to put up there. And then we also did letters from their families that they wrote to them during the orientation that we're gonna have underneath the tree for them to read when they feel sad. And then this is our safe place corner. So this is just a space for kiddos to have those big emotions throughout the day. If they're feeling sad, mad, scared, anything like that, we have a ton of resources that they can use in this corner for them to feel happy or sad or whatever they need to feel. And it's got a super pretty view out onto our playground. And then the last little corner here is my teacher desk corner. So I have the kidney bean table and I bought myself a mini fridge this year because it was just nice being able to put stuff in there so that I can eat. And then this is just another little work table for me. So that is a look at what my classroom looks like this year. Mm -hmm.